By the 1800s, bow and arrow technology was quite sophisticated. The baddest recurve bows of the time could send an arrow soaring distances of over 400 yards and could pierce armor at distances farther than a football field. That, however, does little to explain how an arrow shot in Africa landed in northern Germany in 1822. The story of the Pfielstorch. It began in 1822. A white stork later known as Pfielstorch or arrow stork landed in a small northern German town of Klutz with an African arrow embedded in its neck. This arrow, a unique arrow of Central African origin, provided tangible proof that this bird had traveled across continents. The discovery of Pfielstorch sparked a wave of interest among scientists and naturalists across Europe. The specimen was preserved in Germany till date. Over time, other migratory birds with African arrows were discovered in Europe, further substantiating the long-held but largely speculative belief that birds traveled immense distances. One German ornithologist, Ernst Schuess, documented several such cases, including white-bellied storks and even short-toed eagles arriving in Europe bearing similar injuries. Prior to the discovery of the Pfielstorch, the concept of bird migration confounded naturalists and the general public. Birds were a common sight in spring and summer, only to vanish in the colder months. Where they went remained a matter of speculation and myth. Some believed they hibernated underwater, akin to frogs and turtles. Others thought birds transformed into entirely different species, a theory rooted in observations of birds like swallows, whose seasonal patterns were misunderstood. One particularly imaginative theory suggested that birds traveled to the moon during winter, an idea advanced in the 16th century by the English scientist Charles Morton. Though now absurd, such ideas underscored the limited understanding of animal behavior in earlier eras. However, this discovery changed everything. It served as incontrovertible evidence that birds like the stork undertook long-distance migration, traversing continents in search of food and favorable climates. Each year, white storks embark on a perilous journey between their breeding grounds in Europe and their wintering grounds in sub-Saharan Africa. The route is fraught with challenges, from natural predators to human interference. Their migration paths are dictated by geography and climate, with two primary corridors. The eastern route, passing through the Balkans and the Middle East, and the western route, through the Iberian Peninsula and Morocco. The Sahara Desert presents one of the greatest obstacles. Its arid expanse, lacking in food and water, is a deadly gauntlet for migrating birds. Yet, storks have adapted to these challenges, demonstrating remarkable endurance and navigational prowess. These findings revolutionized the field of ornithology, laying the groundwork for modern studies of migration. With the advent of technologies like bird banding and GPS tracking, scientists have since uncovered the full scope of avian migration. But the Pfielstorch remains one of the earliest and most compelling pieces of evidence. In modern Germany, the stork is celebrated as a harbinger of good fortune and renewal, its migration symbolizing the cyclical nature of life. In the end, the Pfielstorch is more than just a bird. It is a symbol of life's interconnectedness and the extraordinary journeys that shape our understanding of the world.